Welcome to Bell's Cross Car. My name is Stephen Kerr and I'm here today at Bell's Cross Car where I would love to show you around this fantastic RDQ5. This is our 2016 RDQ5. It's a 2 litre turbo diesel with 190 horsepower. It's the Quattro S-Line Plus 5 door and it's an S-Tronic automatic. We have 52,568 miles and our average fuel consumption is 47.1. Some of the fantastic features on this car include the driver information center with a color display, our HDD sat-nav system with DVD player, our remote electric boot opening and closing, our service interval indicator, our RD music interface, our DAB digital radio with an acoustic windscreen, our aluminium sill plates, our auto dimming rear view mirror, the body colour bumpers and the chrome door handles and boot strip really do set this car off. We also have the electrically adjustable and heated door mirrors, front and rear electric windows, the front fog lights, headlight range control and our headlight washers. So starting at the driver's side front end of the vehicle we can see our LED headlights, our front parking sensors and fog lights, that iconic RD grille, Moving around, we have the upgraded diamond cut alloy wheels, the black sills around the windows and the black roof, uh, sorry, the black roof rails. Coming around to the rear, we can see our chrome tailpipes, our rear parking sensors, the quattro badging, the extra dark privacy glass. The bodywork on the car is in great condition. And finally finishing up at the driver's side front alloy. Driver's side front alloy with an excellent tyre. Passenger side front alloy with an excellent tyre. Passenger side rear alloy with an excellent tyre. And finally driver's side rear alloy with an excellent tyre. Now that we're at the rear of the car we can see the LED rear lights. And coming around what I would like to do is to show you the boot interior. The boot is electronically operated with button touch. Coming into the rear of the vehicle, plenty of space as you would expect with a Q5. We also have the grab handles to lower the rear seats. It is a 60-40 split, which will give you a flat entry into the car. We have a 12-volt charger and also storage on each side here. This houses our tire inflation kit and also a fuse system of the car. Just to show you underneath the rear parcel, or sorry, the rear boot floor, then we have our Audi first aid kit and also storage for our subwoofer and jack. And just with a touch of the button here, the boot closes and locks. So being the turbo diesel model, we have our diesel filler nozzle cap here and we also have our add blue. So coming into the rear of the car, we can see it has this nice black leather interior, very comfortable. Um, we can also see it has the Isofix, uh, it has the, sorry, it's capable of Isofix here in the back two outer seats. Nice dark headliner just to give that more feel of a sportier look and sportier feel as well inside the cabin. So coming into the driver's door here, we can see we have our internal alarm deactivation button. We have our electric window locks, our one touch opening for electric windows all around. We have our heated door mirrors and electrically operated door mirrors. We have our central locking buttons and we have our boot release. We have that uh, again, nice stark interior. We have the S line inverted into the passenger and driver's seat. Overall great condition on the leather, no obvious signs of wear and tear. The nice uh, three spoke S line steering wheel. Our automatic lights, front and rear fog lights and our dash illumination. We have our window wiper stock and across the way we have our indicator stock as well. It is an automatic so we do have our paddle shift to the rear of the steering wheel. 
buttons on the left hand side of the steering wheel are for the trip computer system and then the buttons on the right are more for the infotainment system. So now that we're on the inside of the vehicle we can see with the dash all lit up that we have 52,393 miles on the clock. And through the buttons here on the left hand side of the steering wheel we can control the stereo and obviously your telephone as well. Just in behind we have our cruise control and speed limiter. And then on our central console here we have our infotainment screen. This is controlled by this nozzle here uh, and these four outer buttons. So if we have a look we can go into sat nav. We can go to our telephone preparation. We can go into stereo or we can go into the media. One of the main functions I want to show you here is our vehicle settings. So if we click into the vehicle settings, we can control the locking and the lighting. We can also look at our driver assist or our conditioning and our servicing and checks. We can check the tire pressure or oil level, for example, which is great. We can look at our service intervals. And our next oil change is due just shy of one year or 9,400 miles. And the next major inspection is due just over two years or 19,100 miles. So we'll go back out into NAV. And just below the infotainment screen we have our ID multimedia system. We press that open button and that brings up our slots for our SD cards. And then of course the eject button for the CD player. Just below there we have hill descent, traction control, parking sensors and auto on off. Just to the outer buttons here, we have our heated seats for the front of the vehicle and we have the dual climate control system. <clears throat> Just below there, we have a 12 volt charging port. Then we have our uh, S-Tronic gearbox here. So very simply operated, you're just putting your trigger button here and allows you to go into the different options. If you wanted to go into manual, you just slide it over to the left hand side. One up is neutral, then reverse, then park. Electronic parking brake here. Then we have the volume control for the stereo and then your different options for your infotainment system. Just in the center armrest, we have additional storage. This will also slide forward just for additional comfort for the driver. And in the uh, glove box, just over into the top left hand corner there, we have our passenger airbag deactivation switch. So thank you very much for taking the time today to view my video presentation on this fantastic ID Q5. Really is a great car and can really only truly be appreciated in person. If you'd like to arrange a time to call over and have a look at the vehicle, please give me a call. My name is Stephen Kerr and I'd be more than happy to help you. You can also check out our website at www.bellscrossgar.com where you can view our fantastic range of new and used cars. Thanks very much.